Hi, if you are a developer and you want to learn how to develop dApps on Ethereum, you've probably made some research to find good channels on YouTube with some easy to follow tutorials. Unfortunately, that's not always easy to find because Ethereum is still quite new and change often. So in this video, I'm going to show you the best channel to learn Ethereum dApp development. For each of these channels, I'm going to review three different things. First, I will review the quality of the content. So is the information provided accurate and interesting? Second, I will review the quality of the video. So quality of the, the recording. That's important because if the recording is very average quality, then it's not very pleasant to follow the video. And then also I will rate the channel by how frequent they release th their video. Yeah, so often you have creators who start channel and after a few weeks they get tired and they don't continue to release new content. And if you're a follower, that's a little bit frustrating when all of a sudden you don't see any new content. I will also give you some color on a different channel. And by that, I mean, I will comment on the kind of topic that you will find on different channel and what I like or what I don't like about them. Number eight, Blog Geeks. So Blog Geeks is an online school for learning blockchain development in general. So contrary to other channel I will mention in this video, Blog Geeks do not focus exclusively on Ethereum, but instead they cover a broad range of topics in the blockchain space. For example, they cover Cosmos, they cover Interledger, etc., etc. So with the massive amount of updates in the Ethereum ecosystem, I personally don't have much time to follow other blockchain projects, but I appreciate watching some of their short video just to keep in touch with what other projects are doing from time to time. However, if you are looking specifically for DAP tutorials for Ethereum, you might be a little bit disappointed. And generally speaking, their video tend to be a little bit too promotional. Often they are just short teasers to promote their own pet courses. Finally, I have to say that their teacher look pretty inexperienced technically and also a little bit stiff on camera. So I would say good to follow other blockchain from time to time, but just okay. So technical quality, uh, so that the content they teach, uh, I would say it's low. The visual quality of the video is pretty high and the frequency is also pretty high. Number seven, Dan Leeper. So there are some interesting videos on these channels such as some guide how, for how to upgrade it to Ethereum smart contract, also some tip on how to become a blockchain developer. Also, I like the video quality. I can see that there is a lot of attention that has been given to marketing and presentation in general. Still, the number of video is a bit low and the channel is still very young. So I'm not sure if the author is going to continue to upload new content regularly. So I would say that for the technical quality of what he teaches, it's medium, but the visual quality is high and the frequency, it tends to be low, but I think he's doing some progress. Number six, what the funk. So what the funk is a channel that focuses on Go. I'm not personally so much into Go, but if you are into it, it's definitely the channel to watch. This channel focuses on Go and this channel focuses on Go. This channel focuses on Ethereum and Go in Ethereum. So I'm not personally a fan of Go, but if you are, then it's definitely the channel to watch. Also, I've noticed that after a long time without updating his channel, the author came back and restarted to upload some content. So now it seems to be a little bit more regular, but I'm a little bit afraid that he will stop again to, to upload new content. So let's hope that it will continue like this. So I would say that in terms of video quality, he used to be uh, just average. And since he came back, there was definitely an increase in the quality. Um, in the what it teaches the the, the technique the quality of the technical content it's medium and the frequency 
it's low but getting better recently so let's just wait and see what is going to continue to do and yeah again if you're into go and blockchain this is the final channel to watch number five code expert so there are really a lot of good tutorials on ethereum on this channel and it's a little bit heartbreaking because i can see that the author is putting really so much effort like he has i think almost 100 video but his number of subscribers is quite low compared to the, the number of video he's put up so i really hope that he gets more subscriber because he really deserved it and also I've noticed a recent trend in his channel where recently he put a lot of tutorials about EOS instead of Ethereum. So I hope that he is going to go back to Ethereum. So the technical quality of this channel is medium. The visual quality is quite low and I think that might be one of the reasons why it's not so popular. And the frequency is really high However, I have some doubt whether he'll be able to continue to upload that many videos so fast. Anyway, it's, uh, it's good to keep an eye on this channel. Number four, Ethereum Foundation. So this is the official channel of the Ethereum Foundation. And contrary to previous channel, this one is most suited for people who want to learn about the Ethereum protocol itself, as opposed to DApp development on top of Ethereum. So the most important videos to follow are the bi-weekly Ethereum call dev call where developers talk about the evolution of the Ethereum protocol as well as the state of implementations in various clients such as Guess, Parity, etc. On this channel, you will also find some videos of various Ethereum such projects such as S2.0, Sharding, or eWASM. I try to at least follow all the videos of the Code Dev Call every two weeks. If I don't have enough time to follow the one hour video, I checked out the meeting notes that are published in the Ethereum PM repo after each call, like this one. From time to time, I also watch videos of other Ethereum sub projects such as eWASM or E2.0 just to keep up with the future evolution of Ethereum. So the technical quality is very high. The people that are featured in this video are extremely competent. It's actually to the point that sometimes it's difficult to understand everything and you have to rewatch some videos a couple of times be before you get it. <coughs> the visual quality is just medium and the frequency is high it used to be not so frequent, but I think in the past few months they've started to to be more regular and now they systematically upload videos of, of any all the meeting that happened in the Ethereum uh, Foundation. So that's a very interesting channel to follow, but unfortunately a little bit time consuming. Number three, DAB University. You will find a lot of good quality content and regularly updated on this channel. The author has done a lot of interview with developers involved in the DAP ecosystem and they're quite interesting. He also did a lot of tutorials on how to build ICOs on Ethereum. This being said, I do find that the titles of his videos are a little bit clickbaity and the contents is sometimes a little bit shallow technically. So I really recommend you to watch this channel, but uh, also uh, take everything he says with a, a grain of salt sometime. So the technical quality I will rate it as medium. The visual quality is really high and we can really see that the author has, has put a lot of effort in, in marketing and everything visual. And the frequency also is quite high. I think he has more than 100 videos as of, of October 2018, so it's quite impressive. Number two, what's Solidity? So when I first started Eat the Blocks more than a year ago, what's Solidity was the only good channel about smart contracts on YouTube. So I personally learned a lot from this channel and I absolutely love the content. Technically, the author of this channel is probably the best out of all channels including me yes i have to admit it 
If you want to learn about deep, deep topics such as solidity assembly or how the EVM works, this is probably the best resource on YouTube. The author used to create a lot of content, then he stopped and then he recently came back, but it seems like once again he has stopped uploading new videos, so that's a little bit frustrating, but I'm already very thankful for the excellent content that he already produced. So the technical quality is high, it's actually very high. The visual quality is medium and the problem is with the frequency. As I said, it used to be regular and it stopped and I don't think that he will resume being regular. So let's just take what was uploaded already and let's just be thankful for all the good work that has been done. Number one, eat the blocks. What? That's my channel. How surprising! Hmm, is there something unfair here? Is it because it's my ranking that I put myself in the first position? No, it was a perfectly fair ranking and it just turned out that I'm the best channel. Yes. <laughs> uh, so, why do I think that I am the best channel? Well, I make tutorials for learning Ethereum dApps and it covers full dApp tutorials so you have the integration of the front end with smart contract and that's really not something that you will find in other channels like usually other channels they focus just on a specific piece like uh, a smart contract or token but what's really valuable for developers is to know how to everything integrates because ultimately what you're going to sell to your boss or to your customer is the full thing is not just a piece. So that's why I focus on this. I also cover smart contract, Truffle, Web3, Ganache. I, I really like the, the tooling. I've made a couple of videos that are quite popular on, on Remix. And generally I provide three kind of content. So I provide episodes. So usually it's on a one off topic. So for example, uh, inheritance in solidity. Then I produce series where we build full project, uh, so it's so a DAP and we explore in more details uh, a specific technical topic and we, we integrate different parts. And then I also produce a weekly newsletter when in uh, five to 10 minutes, I summarize the recent developments that are relevant to DAP developers. I cover frameworks, libraries, token standards. So it's a really good way to stay up to date with the, the latest development in Ethereum without spending too much time because otherwise it can be extremely time consuming to keep up with the mountain of information. Uh, people seem to really enjoy my to-do list DAP series where we build a full DAP with a smart contract plus integration with the front end. And also recently I've released an ebook that basically takes the material of this series and also add two bonus chapter one on React in DAP and another one on integrating Drizzle, the front-end framework of Truffle. So high, I would rate myself for my three standards. So first one is technical quality. I think it's pretty high. Everything I do is thoroughly reviewed. I never teach anything that I don't master. So yeah, I'm quite, quite happy with my technical quality. Visual quality, it's medium. I'm definitely better than other channel, but still uh, it's not as good as some other channel. So still some progress to do here. And frequency, I would rate my channel as medium. So I started more than a year ago. It was uh, kind of regular, but once a week, and then I got really busy in the middle of the, of, of the year. So kind of stopped for, for a couple of months. And then I came back at the middle of the summer. And since this summer, I'm, I'm kind of on fire, really uploading a lot of content, uh, but still not as much as, as other channels. So here again, I had still have some room for, for improvement. What do you think? Agree, disagree? Please put in the comments your opinion. And what do you think is the best YouTube channel and why you like such or such channel? I'm really curious. If you like this video, please give it a thumb up and also make sure you subscribe to this channel if you want to see more content like this. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you soon in another video on Eat the Blocks. Bye.